very beautiful and fantastic topic called as special diode. Special diode is nothing but a diode in which the doping level is very very high. Whereas in ordinary PN diode the doping level is low. Now how the way if you change the doping it is going to affect the operation. If the doping level is high then your depletion width becomes low. So what will happen to depletion width you know depletion width WD symbol it will be reduced. When the depletion width or barrier is reduced then it is easy for the charge carriers to tunnel through the barrier. You just imagine you are walking on the way. If there is on the way some obstacles are there. That is a little bit small uh, bricks or stones will be there. You can easily jump and cross. But you just imagine if there is a big barrier this much of wall will be there in between. Can you able to jump? No. Obviously answer will be no. So same way when your doping level is high, your junction barrier width will be reduced. So, charge carriers easily pass through that barrier or junction. So, heavy current starts to flow. And basically your special diodes, most of the diodes operate in the reverse bias. So, let us see this Jinnar diode which is coming under the special purpose diode. It is invented by the scientist Mr. C. Jinnar, hence the name as Jinnar diode. Now let us see how the way you will do your Jinnar diode. See, you know this is nothing but your P side. This is your N side. This is your junction which is made from P side. N electrons will come. P side holes will go to this side. So this is nothing but your junction potential or barrier potential or space charge origin. Now here Jinnar diode, it is specially designed to operate in a reverse bias. So reverse bias means P should be given to negative of the terminal and N should be given to positive of the terminal. This is called as a reverse biasing. Now here I mentioned doping level is high. How it is indicated? Your positive symbol indicates that they are heavily doped. In some places they will mention P minus and N minus. What does it mean? They are lightly doped. Okay. To indicate it how the way they are doping symbolical presentation. Clear? Now you are giving reverse bias to this diode. I already mentioned as it is heavily doped. So its junction potential or barrier is very low. So easily the charge carriers can tunnel or jump from one side to other side. So what will happen? A heavy current will flow. Just imagine I will give one small example here. You can easily understand it. Imagine this junction width I told it is very small. Imagine it is in the range of some 10 nanometer. Fine. And we are applying this voltage. Let it be some 4 volt. You are giving. Jinnar diodes usually operate in the 6 volt range. Okay. For example I am giving 4 volt. You know your electric field E equal to B by D. So now I am giving 4 volt divided by 10 nanometer. Nano means how much? 10 to the power minus 9. So 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So how much it is? 4 into 10 to the power plus 9 by 10. So it will be 0.4 into 10 to the power 9 electric field. So volt per meter. Or you can say it as... 4 into 10 to the power 8 volt per meter. You just imagine how much large amount of electric field is generated at the junction. Because the depletion width decreases and your electric field is inversely proportional to depletion width. It is decreases your electric field that much time enhances. Due to this increase in electric field across the junction, there will be breakage in the covalent bond or rupture in covalent bond. Due to which a sharp current flows through it. That is called as a Zener breakdown. And it is designed in such a way that what is the rating mentioned in that Zener diode? According to that rating, when it reaches that particular voltage, then very a sharp current starts to flow. Now, even if you further increases the voltage, it will not increase the voltage, but current will start to increase. Now, let us see in terms of graphs how it will be. You just imagine this is your forward bias. 
this is your r reverse bias this is nothing but your reverse voltage i already mentioned it is a special diode and it is designed to operate in forward bias of course it can operate in forward bias but there is no speciality or uniqueness about the zener diode it make miracle in r reverse bias how the way you just imagine for example it is a 6 volt zener you are taking and you just keep on increasing the voltage 1 2 3 4 5 6 exactly at the point of 6 volt what will happen the current initially it will be very small very small very small when it reaches 6 volt you just imagine how much heavy electric field will be existing at the point of junction you have seen the small calculation with respect to that there will be breakage in covalent bond and charge carriers fastly moves due to that sharp current flows through it this point it is nothing but called as vz what is vz a zener breakdown voltage zener breakdown voltage so what exactly happens here process you are giving the a reverse biasing voltage as you increase the reverse biasing voltage then your electric field across the junction increases so much you see just small example then when there is increase in electric field then covalent bond breaks across the junction this covalent bond breakage it starts to increase due to which there will be generation of charge carriers there is generation of charge carriers this will keep on increasing and you know when charge carriers generating what will they will start to move they will not stop because heavy electric field due to that the current flows that is called as zener breakdown okay vz this is about the operation of zener diode so simple or not huh what exactly about zener diode it's a heavily doped diode which is designed to operate in a reverse bias voltage now you can see its graph you are increasing your reverse voltage little bit current is flowing exactly suppose it is designed with the rating of 6 volt at that particular point all the covalent bond at the point of junction will break so due to that the charge carrier starts to move fast hence a heavy current flows you can see this curve but you further increase the voltage voltage will not it will not increase in voltage it will maintain that particular 6 voltage but you can see the current is increasing voltage is maintained constant hence this device name it is called as constant voltage device or voltage stabilizer or voltage regulator or it is also used as a reference voltage that is the application of zener diode for what purpose it is used voltage stabilizer or regulator or used as a, a reference voltage fine so why you are using this voltage regulator i hope you know always there will be change in supply voltage have you ever find your voltage is maintain constant early morning you see your lights are glowing more nothing but heavy voltage or high current is there in your day mid day you see the light is somehow dim then after 10 o'clock night you see again the lights are bright so these are nothing but your change in input voltage you are you can measure it it is usually varying from 170 volt to 220 volt similarly there is change in load current you see early morning everybody is sleeping up to 4 o'clock usually 4 to 5 o'clock so all the gadgets are off so no load is consumed except your ac or fan if it is winter also ac also off only one or two zero light and fan so load is less so output you are finding exactly whatever you are 
बट आज मॉर्निंग स्टार्ट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक सेवन ओ क्लॉक एवरीबडी विल गेट अप दे स्टार्ट टू स्विच ऑन दैर पी सी दैर ओवन दैर फ्रिज एवरी थिंग गैजेट्स विल स्टार्ट टू ऑन वॉशिंग मशीन देन लोड विल बी मोर वन द लोड इज मोर द लोड करेंट विल बी रिड्यूस्ड एट दैट टाइम योर गैजेट्स नीड्स स्पेसिफिक वोल्टेज टू ऑपरेट बिलो दैट इट विल नॉट वर्क प्रॉपरली देर इज लॉट्स ऑफ प्रेजर ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स गैजेट with a constant voltage they operate very nicely and smoothly and longevity will be more with that so hence we want to maintain output voltage constant irrespective of the change in input voltage irrespective of the change in load current hence your zener diode is most preferred to use as voltage regulator to maintain the output voltage constant other name also it is called as voltage stabilizer or it is sometimes used as a A reference voltage. I hope you got the clarity about the Azinar there. If you have any comments, please mention it. Take care. Bye bye.